one for the roadies out there today and um, today's video is the Scott Attic 10 with the SRAM Rebel ETAP AXS group set. Hi Gavin here again from John Hanna Cycles in Lisburn, a family owned business for over 75 years. In this video we'll be going over the spec and the detail of the bike. Don't forget to check out our website at hannacycles.co.uk So one of the first things you'll notice about the Scott Attic 10 is the lack of cables. Um, the cable routing on it's mostly internal apart from where it pops out for the brake calibers. We'll see, we'll see that in a bit of close up detail in a second. But as you can see the cables dipping, coming down out through from the bar tape, down on the stem, down through the fork and out through the frame. Um, it's just so real neat and tidy. So here are there's the cable, the hose sorry, coming down onto the brake caliber. It's lovely and clean and neat and tidy. And then you run back to the back brake caliber, just with the brake hose just comes out of the frame on the rear stay and straight into the brake um, caliber on the rear. Lovely neat job. So the attic frame is quite an endurance geometry frame, obviously because it's designed to do a bit of everything for you. So the attic 10 also comes bossed from Mudguards and um, she'll take the Syncross, um, which is Scott's parts division, um, full length endurance Mudguards. Um, it's also bossed at the front here as well and under the um, crown and the fork at the front and down the inside of the, the fork leg itself. Um, both Mudguards give you really good sort of full length protection. So next we're on to the main show, which is the AXS group set, which is a 46 32 tooth chain set on the front um, and a 10 to 36 tooth 12 speed cassette on the rear. Um, she also comes with a replaceable um, rear dropout in the frame. So if you ever crash or it gets damaged badly, it can be replaced. It's not one of those frames that's a, a made in um, rear dropout. Another really nice feature of the AX S group set is that the battery in the front and the back are obviously exactly the same battery. So if you run out of battery on the rear Mac, you can just stop, swap them over, and stick it on the front. So obviously, part of the AX S group set is the hydraulic disc brake system. Um, the SRAM system on this particular bike comes with 160mm disc front and rear. Um, and they also have three axle wheels front and rear. Um, and I'll show you that in a second here just how to remove and fit the uh, through axle. So to remove the through axle you grab the wheel key which you can store in the wheel front or back and there's a rubber in it to stop it from coming in right. Basically push it into the end of the skewer, unscrew the skewer as you see there, lift the bike up, take it away, take the wheel off, do whatever you're doing, wheel back on again, skewer lined up through the forks, wind it back up again, tighten up nice and tight, make sure it's nice and firm. And then you can pop the wheel key back out again, store it in your saddlebag if you want, or on the front or back wheel. So if you like this kind of content, please click on one of the boxes, watch some more of our videos, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also stick around, as next week we have another Scott Addict coming up, the Scott Addict 30, with the full Shimano 11 speed 105 group set. So we'll be doing a feature length video in it as well. Thanks very much, see you in the next one.